Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of our guide and review of Tides, a module by Mutable Instruments. In the first part, I go over the basic controls of this module. In this second part, we'll look into what makes Tides so special, the features and control that truly make this module a must-have in every modular system. Tides has four outputs. All these outputs send a signal. The shape and behavior of this signal is defined by the controls described in the first part of this review. This button allows you to select which mode you want Tides to be in, and this knob will allow you to adjust the behavior of each of these four outputs, sometimes in relation to one another. As you can hear, I have a few notes droning in the background. These are four voices, each going into one input of Veils, another module from Mutable Instruments. Veils acts both as a mixer and a VCA. The notes are sequenced by yet another Mutable Instruments module, Marbles. Marbles is an amazing module and I make sure I record a full review and tutorial on that one. Now, I'm going to patch each of Tide's output so that they can control each section of the mixer. I've set Tides in LFO mode. This will create a repetitive rhythmic pattern. In the green mode, the shift level knob is used to crossfade between the four outputs. When you turn it after 12 o'clock, you have the normal shape. When you turn it counterclockwise before 12 o'clock, you have the reverse shape. Let's try and use an LFO to control its motion. And of course, you can use all the other knobs to shape the sound. The arrange mode makes it so that each of the output will send the same signal only at different times. Put it at the center and all begin and end at the same moment. Now turn it left or right to offset the signal more or less. The red mode is my favorite. In this mode, you can use the shift level knob to change at which frequency of speed each signal goes. In this case, we are using LFO. So it will make the LFO loop at different speed. Turn it clockwise and they go faster and faster. Turn it counterclockwise and the music will settle down creating beautiful rhythmic patterns. There is one last mode. This is when the LED is completely off. I'll quickly demonstrate it here, but I'll create a new patch just for that mode in the next and last part of this series on Tides. This last mode sends a different waveform for each output. As you can hear, it can still be musical when used as a modulation, but I think it works even better when you start using Tides as a sound generator. But this will be for the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm Emmanuel for InModular with dot love with love.